Hello, this is Maria from Math Mammoth, and this is my mascot, Mathy. In this lesson, we're going to look at something called partial products. It's a really easy and fun principle. OK, here on the screen, you see lots of groups of five. There's two groups of five, this one and this one. And then we have also three groups of five. So we could write two groups of five two times five. And then we also have these three groups of five, right? And then we could add them. So 2 times 5 plus 3 times 5. And now we have a shortcut, so to speak. What if we now push all of these groups of 5 together and make a big array? So now we have actually 5 groups of 5, right? 5 times 5. If we think of it as partial products, it refers to the fact that 5 times 5 is a product, okay? It's a multiplication, in other words, and it can be broken into parts, partial products. 2 times 5 is one product, 3 times 5 is another product. So they are like parts of the 5 times 5. And now if we look at how many is it, 2 times 5 here is 10, 3 times 5 is 15, yes, and 5 times 5 is 10 plus 15, so it's 25. So that's easy, right? Now let's look at 7 times 8 and break it down into two multiplications or into two parts, two partial products. How? Matthew has an idea. I have an idea. You may have an idea. It can be done in many different ways. You could look at it as three groups of eight plus four groups of eight. But it's also two groups of eight and five groups of eight and many other ways that you could break it down so let's now think about how much is it seven times eight over there but we can do two times eight that's just double eight right 16 so that equals 16 and then five times eight well you can think of eight times five you might know that by heart by now right eight times five that's actually four tens, 40, and total 56. Partial products is really neat. It allows us to break down more difficult multiplications into parts that we can solve easier. Now let's look at this array. Lots of dots. How many? We can write the multiplication, but we can make our life easier by breaking it into several multiplications. Partial products. You can think of the groups as columns, or you can think of the groups as rows. So let's break it into two groups here. So what do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven in this row. So I have two times seven, two rows. And here's four and seven, so it is four times seven. Now in total, this would be six times seven. Here's two and four, two groups of seven, four groups of seven, six groups of seven. But we can work with it like this. Two times seven is double seven, right? Fourteen. And then four times seven, well, that's just double that, right? Wouldn't four groups of seven be double two groups of seven? So that's 28. Okay. And total we get 42. Now, what do you think of this one? What single multiplication does it make? Matthew has an idea. Yeah. And you? What does it make as a single multiplication? I can think of it as nine groups of five and nine groups of four. But, you know, you can multiply either way, right? So you can think of it also as five groups of nine. And four groups of nine. So that is how many groups of nine? It equals nine groups of nine. And you should know that if you've been watching these videos. Matthew's favorite numbers. Yes, he knows. It's 81. Now here's a much bigger multiplication. We have 14 times 6. That's something that, you know, kids don't normally study multiplication tables up to 14, right? just up to 10 or 12. 
but we can break this down using partial products. One way would be, it could be seven groups of six and another seven groups of six. We just solve that with those green dots, with that array. If you remember, it was 42 and 42. Let's say that we are not that interested in the final answer, 84, but we're just looking at how many different ways can we break it down. So here's another different way would be that let's say it is 10 groups of 6 because it's so easy to multiply by 10 and then we're left with 4 groups of 6. So 10 groups of 6 or 6 groups of 10, 60 and then this one 4 times 6 is the same as 2 times 6 doubled, 12 doubled, 24. That's of course is still 84. I'll show you a third way. And that is that we can think of it as 14 times 3 or 3 groups of 14 and then 14 times 3 again. Another 3 groups of 14 because in total it is 6 groups of 14. And three groups of 14, again, it's actually 42, and 42 equals 84. I hope this was helpful, and I hope it was fun too.